Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I am in a real hurry, so this is going to be a super quick video. But I have a couple of uh, EDC items, a couple of just small knives, one fixed blade, one folder, going to Drew down in Baltimore, Maryland. So Drew asked me if I could build him. Uh, both of these are going to be in black. So one of them is for a 2-inch TDI, standard setup on a tech lock. You can switch multiple positions. This is ambidextrous. Um, so you can find this in quite a few different orientations on, you know, relative to your belt and, uh, yeah, see what works best for you. You got a standard ballistic one-handed draw, very smooth action each way, um, very good, strong retention and no rattle, no play. So that is the TDI. And then this is probably the more interesting one. I haven't done anything quite like this before. This is a Colonel Blades folder and of late I've actually been getting a lot of requests for both fixed blades and folders uh, for kernel blades um, sheaths rather uh, for kernel blades so um, <clears throat> I'm not sure why that is maybe just because I posted a couple things and it's uh, gotten a little popular so let me spray this off real quick I think maybe I'm one of the only people out there doing sheaths for these so uh, somebody or some people are seeing them on uh, YouTube and whatnot and coming to me because where else are they going to get it if they don't see anybody else out there doing it. So in any event, um, as you know, flippers are a little bit of a challenge when it comes to auto open designs. You can't have one that pulls out this way because the opening mechanism is here. So if you're pulling apart, this is actually just trying to close the knife more. So you have to come up with a way that pushes it like so. This particular knife, that is the open position. It's kind of canted, um, similar to a TDI really. Um, so in any event, you have to find something to push against the ring, which makes the construction of the sheath kind of a challenge. Um, so this is what I came up with. I ended up doing it in two pieces. You've got the main body of the sheath, which grips it pretty tight. He asked it to be horizontal on a tech lock so that he would set it up kind of at like uh, one or two o'clock and push toward his stomach area port toward the center of the belt um, and then uh, you can see it only actually goes up to there but then I've attached an additional piece that comes up and hooks over the top of this ring and helps to uh, deploy the knife so you do have to kind of make sure when you when you put the knife back in the sheath you have to align that ring with the slot that it's going to fall into to make sure it does that because once it if it goes to the side you can't really just flex this and put it over so you've got to do that um, and then it's as simple as uh, just overcoming the the uh, grip of the sheath itself being that this is gripping only down here the retention has to be a little bit tighter than I want it to be so it's not super comfortable uh, it doesn't just pull right out really easy but when you do pull it out oops, sorry just make sure you do it nice and quick so it's going to be oriented roughly here you're going to just do it nice and quick and sorry I guess I'm messing this up my index fingers keeps getting in the way here I don't know how to hold this <laughs> all right here I'm gonna just hold it like that so like I said do it nice and quick and kind of snap when you when you put it out just give it a little snap and there you go so like all of my auto deploy sheaths it is partially dependent on the momentum so the speed that you draw it out with and a little bit of that technique that you draw it out with um, and the reason is because the sheath can only do so much the sheath can initiate the opening but especially where you're coming you know unlike my other deploying designs where it's like naturally going to continue to rotate this needs to stop and let the blade kind of carry itself out on that axis so you do need to practice a little bit with it but this is a fully functioning folding, uh, folding or auto deploy sheath for a folding kernel blades or kernel blades folder, <laughs> however people call it. But um, like I said, just a little flick and uh, that should work nice. So anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in and I'm sorry to be so frantic and getting out the door real quick, but I got to head out, drop these to the post office and then hit my night job. So, all right guys, I hope you like these Comment down below, let me know what you think of this. And uh, as always, the TDI is my old standby. These are my most popular sheath. Um, so thank you guys for continuing to support these. 
All right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and stick around for the next one. God bless.